Welcome back everyone. Today um, we're going to start trying to wrap up all the electrical um, components on our console and uh, so that all we'll be missing is just to putting our batteries in. Today we're going to try to see if the rain allows us. We're going to try to put um, run the wires for the transducer, the bilge pump, and the one you see over there is the one for my navigation light in the front. We're going to try to run those cables, um, connect the bilge, and um, connect them to the switches on the on the console and if we can get all that done uh, we'll be ready to install the battery. For our pump wire uh, we're going to use the same wiring we did everything I just basically have a bunch of uh, transducer cables I bought on a lot used ones and they have great great uh, coating especially when they're going to be down there they're going to get humidity so I'm going to be using these to run my um, to run the pump cables.
This is as far as we're getting. It got a little hot and it's been a couple of hours out here. Some things went smoother than others, but in the end, everything got done. Got all the wiring, got the navigation light, the pump with its auto switch and the switch to the, to the which we're going to be installing later. And we got the transducer ran through as well. Um, we came out through the floor, through the back. We got the pump installed. As you can see, we got it on the back. It's not the prettiest, but it's very well secured and it's very well sealed um, so that we won't get any water intrusion from the holes we made to put the clamps to hold the hoses in the line. Here's how I installed it on this section. I'm gonna take some acetone now and clean it a little, but um, that's basically that's basically what it looks like. Um, we try to keep it as close to the wall as possible, the cables. Um, on a way that we don't have a double floor, especially on the Montauk, so we have to run the cables through there. And we gotta keep them as close as we can so we don't get the hooks stuck on there. But yeah, this is how it came out. There's the back view of it. Um, we'll add a little more silicone, clean it up a little, but that's basically the whole installation. The next step will be to install those cables to the switch panel and put the batteries as well as the power cables for the GPS and the fish finder. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please share it with someone who you believe might find it helpful as well. Always wishing you the best and one love.